Hey guys, and welcome back to part 2 on how to make a story game. Today, I'll be teaching you how to make a dialogue system and a transition screen. Alright, let's get started. Before we get on with today's video, if you haven't watched part 1 yet, it should appear in the top left or right hand corner. Alright, now let's get on with today's video. Alright, so the, once you've opened up the game, the first thing you want to do is open up the main game. So to do that, go to view, go to asset manager, double click on places, and double click on your main game. Once you've opened up your main game, then you can get started. Alright, let's get on with the dialogue system first. So I want you to go into the link in the description below and get the dialogue tutorial pack. Once you've get it, gotten it, open up two box. By doing that, click home, click two box, click this four square, and open up the dialogue pack. All right. Once you've clicked on it, it should open up here. You should have replicated storage, server, script, service, and started GUI. Before we, I get on with today's. What in the world is this? Alright, before we get on with this uh, tutorial, I would like to say this dialogue pack is not scripted or made by me. It is made by Poncho Kings. I've grouped it because he makes you manually add some things to it. So I just grouped it and made it easier for you guys to use. But this whole pack, all the scripts and everything in this dialogue pack is made by Poncho Kings. Alright, so first you can delete read me. Then take the replicated storage group, drag it to replicated storage, right click and ungroup. Now bring the service script service, bring it to service script service, right click, ungroup. Then drag the started UI to started UI, right click and ungroup. Alright, now we're done setting that up, I can tell you what we're doing. So the main UI here is the dialogue frame. If I move this dialogue frame, alright, this is the dialogue frame. As you can see, here is where the image will appear. Then here's the name of the character or the NPC. And this whole white blank space will be where the dialogue happens. Now, don't think we have to make an image save it to Roblox. That's a lot of work. All you have to do, it will automatically create the NPC picture for you. Alright, now let me bring this back to its position. Here in replicate storage, we have modules. This is rich text. And to be honest, I have no idea what this does. Just don't mess with this. And then we get the remotes. This is all the remote events to start up all the functions. Create dialogue event creates a dialogue. Hide dialogue event hides the dialogues. The set dialogue image event will set the NPC or the player's image. Now if you go into server script service, here I've done like a what do you call it? I don't know, I just give what the I just given the script here and just a easy reference. Alright, so basically this script is the reference script for you and this is all the functions for the thing and the variables. So I've heard already called all the namespaced all the variables now this function is to get a random characters what do you call it image so don't mess with this function unless you know what you're doing and now here let me put a comment here main oopsies main part of game uh, here this bigger so I know what it is all right so this part is the main part of the game where the dialogue happens where the challenges happens with the monster whatever your storyline is this is the main part of the game so here is just a testing just so you know what each line does so we'll wait 10 seconds for the whole game to load then this function will getting a random character so it will create an image get a random character in the game not an NPC, a real player. Then set dialogue image event. We're firing that and we're getting random character. Do not write get random character. Whenever we do get random character, the image and the name is saved inside random character. So it's saved. Uh, 
where is it saved? Here, it's saved into random character. So whenever you call it, it will all save here. So random character, comma, color 3. So setting. You know how I showed you the name? Where it would appear the name? We're just setting the color for that. And then we're creating a dialogue event. Firing that, and this is the dialogue. We'll wait 5 seconds for the dialogue to finish, and we'll hide it. You know what, I think that's a bit confusing. Let me write it down so it's easier for you to understand. So as I said, wait 10, 20, I don't know, wait 10 seconds for the game to start. Then we'll do set. Then we'll do set dialogue image event. Fire all clients. Now, I don't want to do a random character. I want to do my NPC I made. So if I go towards my NPC, where is it? Yeah, here. The sexy NPC I made. Now I'm gonna rename it to teacher so we the you know what it is teacher. All right, so I'm gonna make it this guy. I'm gonna make a picture for him. So file clients, we need to call it so game dot workspace dot t teacher. So it will automatically create a picture. We just have to locate the teacher. So where I look tell it where the teacher is located or your NPC is located so game.workspace or teacher and it will automatically create an image for that now color 3 dot new Br click comma right color 3 dot new click inside the brackets click this circle this ball of circle color and choose color I'll choose a uh, nice blue color now that's done we can the image and the name is done we can start with the dialogue so create dialogue event fire all clients make sure to write uh, speech marks and then write whatever your text is so write hey class hey and welcome to class once you finish typing your dialogue you can write wait five to wait for the dialogue to finish and I will do the random player in the game so do get random character that will do set dialogue image event fire all clients random character so random characters where the player saved as I said before then color 3 dot new click in here click this ball of color just choose a random as color go orange and do create dialogue event or clients and we'll do we'll do what do we say let's say hey teacher wait five now let's just say we want another person we don't want the same person every time you want a new player to talk you have to do get rid of character so it will update this thing with it's saved because you know whatever is saved here whatever you said so what I'm what I mean by that when you want another player to talk you have to rewrite this because if you don't write this whatever we got from the first time whatever was saved in here the first time it'll be the same person so we need to update it so we have to write get random character to update it now let's say you want the teacher to say a player's name so set dialogue image file all clients game dot workspace dot teacher comma color three dot new that is I can't type ah I can't type okay click color choose a random color we'll go back to that blue color we had now we'll do create dialogue event file all clients now since since the this this character whoever the game got this character was talking to the teacher we can write hey we can see like the teacher specifically talking to that character so hey your and uh, we'll do dot dot random character dot dot and that's a uh, what and we'll do comma I checked on the 
roll Mis correct correct me if I'm wrong so what this does is hey your and I will get that person's name so like my name is dash 29 so hey hey uh, let's try aren't you aren't you dash 29 so be like hey aren't you these two dots will combine it so whatever the player's name whatever the player's name saved in here it will appear in the dialogue aren't you dash 29 i checked on the hey aren't you dash 29 i checked on the road correct me if i'm wrong so yeah hopefully that makes sense so yeah let's 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 test it out let's just spawn point yeah okay i think i put the spawn point there Let's click play. It should load me in. Everything is loading. Oh, sorry. I did. I realized what I did wrong. It's not random character. It's random character name. So whatever was saved in here, it would get the name that was saved in here. I will put it here. Now it should work. Hey, and welcome to class. Hey, teacher. Hey, aren't you some guy oh my days? I checked on the roll. Correct me if I'm wrong. As you can see, it got the random character's name. Put it here. I checked on the roll. Alright. Now that the dialogue system's done, let's go on with the transition. Oh yeah. If you if you see if I click play, just a heads up. If I click play and you go up to the oh crap. The FPS dropped this insane. Go up to the teacher. If you can see the name tag is there. I can tell you how to take it off. To take it off, oh, oh, stop the game first. Click on your teacher. Open him up. Click humanoid, and then uh, and display distance thingy where it says viewer. Click none. Now it should disappear. Okay. Now let's do the transition. So to do that, go to the second link in the description below, and get the transition uh, the transition model then go to home go to toolbox click these four squares and insert the transition okay so this is the same thing too so transition script yeah i'll tell you what the transition script does but first you're gonna drag assets to server storage Where's server storage Drag assets to server storage and then drag transition script. Oh no, copy all of this. So, control A, right click, copy script, paste it under the random character. Paste. So, I'm gonna do right here a comment transition uh, scripts. So I know what this is. Oh crap, not here. Right here. Transition scripts. So oh, it's already here. Alright, here teleport player. Teleport player. Ah, I can type. Teleport player. So this script is a teleport players anywhere on the map, like how they teleport you in games. And this is the transition, so the transition screen. To do the teleport place and the transition screen, let's say the teacher wants you to go to, let's say art class. So we'll click part, insert up, oh no, first go to workspace, click plus, and insert a folder. Rename that folder folder to TPs. Let's name it TPs. Don't worry, not toilet paper. Now this part, make sure it's not collided with the ground. Make sure it's a bit in the air, cause then the, when the players teleport, they teleport like half of them in the ground, half of them in the air. So you teleport them here and they'll fall down. So no weird collision glitches or anything. I'm gonna make it around this big. Make sure it's anchored. Rename this part to anything under the TP1 and go to the properties of so view properties transparency is set to one 
anchored is checked and can collide is not checked. Now drag TP1 to TPs. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say that we want to teleport all the players to this part. Except it will only teleport the players, not NPCs. So we're gonna teleport all of the we're gonna teleport all of the players to here. So go to script, we'll do uh, wait wait five uh, create dialogue event so it's still the teacher we haven't changed the image yet so fire all clients never never mind oh, that's horrible never mind forget it let's go to art class now let's go to art class now so wait five now just call transition screen this will block the screen so it doesn't so you don't actually show the player teleporting do a transition there and then we'll do wait one teleport players i will do so call the teleport players function and then write game dot workspace dot tps not just name this to teleports teleports that's easier it's not shorter but it's, it doesn't look weird like that dot teleports dot tp1 dot c frame make sure to add oh i said that in such an indian accent i think okay make sure to have c frame at the end if not it won't work so make sure to write that and then we'll do wait like three seconds then we'll do a get random character set dialogue image event fire all clients random character comma color three dot new now we'll just do the same color over there i'll copy these colors i want this exact same color and we'll do create dialogue event fire all clients wow this is the art room looks looks so cool and we'll put it like that so let's see if it teleports and the transition screen works click play hey and welcome to class hey teacher Aren't you some guy over my days? I checked on the roll. Correct me if I'm wrong. Never mind, forget it. Let's go to art class now. Transition screen and it teleported you here. Wow, this is the art room. It looks so cool. So if you can see, it teleported me from math class to trip to art room and it the transition screen came down and disappeared so yeah so now we learned dialogue and transition so if this really did help you please put thumbs up and subscribe it will support me a lot we're very close to 500 subscribers if we reach 500 subscribers that would mean a lot for me but yeah if this really did help you please put a thumbs up subscribe to support me yeah, and yeah that's it all right bye